Hello everyone, my name is Dominik Oczkowski, PR and Communication Manager at Kingwin. And together joining me today is Michał Kaczmarek, Chief Gaming Officer and Partner at Kingwin. Hi Michał. Hello Dominik. Michał, I would like to ask you today some very important questions and we, I'd like to start, what is Kingwin Studios? So Kingwin Studios is the game development arm of Kingwin. We are producing our very own first game, Sneak Out, uh, which I would be talking about today. Why Sneak Out? What is Sneak Out? Could you tell us a little bit more? So Sneak Out is a free-to-play multiplayer uh, game currently being released on Steam. Uh, we have the technology to make it cross-platform, so it's be working on various consoles and mobile in the future. It's our very first game. Uh, the goal is to escape, to sneak out from, from the level, from the map, from the castle or from the palace. Uh, currently we have two worlds, two, two maps and a number of uh, levels created on those maps. It's a six player game. Uh, one person becomes a hunter and tries to kill the penguins, the victims, the, 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 the people who are uh, trying to escape from the castle. Okay, so Michał, what makes Sneak Out special? Uh, how it stands out from other games in the same genre? So the thing that connects Sneak Out and Kingwin is the penguin, right? Uh, we have beautiful penguins, the, the characters are, are really cool. Uh, they have a lot of extravagant uh, costumes and skins, uh, so they are very cool to, you know, to create your own character within our game. Uh, what makes Sneak Out very unique uh, is that it's a mix of, a, of, a, of games, right? Of, of game styles. Uh, it's partly Dead by Daylight, partly Among Us, and partly Fall Guys. So it's, it's a fun game to play with your friends. Uh, we have all the voice comms, all the chat uh, integrated into the game. Um, it's a game where you have a lot of emotions because, you know, we are recreating the hide-and-seek fun from your childhood. So essentially, the hunter is trying to kill you and you're trying to get out. So if you're, if you're seeing the hunter, you hide. And when you're hidden and he passes you, it's a lot of emotions, right? You, you, you get quite scared. Um, once you actually confront the hunter as the penguins, there is a lot of funny situations that can arise and we've seen this during our free play tests. There's a huge amount of emotions. So the number one thing about Sneak Out is emotions, it's fun uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a cool game. Okay, that sounds really interesting. But Michal, tell me, are there any special fe features or futures in, in the game? What can uh, the player expect? Something that could surprise them when they play it? So the game's original, right? So essentially, uh, let me run by like a PlayStation for you, right? So you start the game where one person is randomly selected to be the hunter. So this is the first bit of excitement, right? You don't know if it's going to be you, if it's going to be your friend. Uh, the other players have to complete tasks on the map, you know, ranging from cleaning desks to releasing owls. Uh, and they must complete these tasks to, to get points, which once raised, the points will open the portal to, to escape the map. Okay. Uh, helping them are items that they can find and, and skills that they can craft in the lobby. Uh, we have like a lobby system where you basically have your own little, you know, um, uh, Animal Crossing style farm where you're, where you're farming your pumpkins, where you're farming your bees. Uh, you're getting uh, your resources which you are then crafting into skill cards and you can use these skill cards the way you feel. It's a tactical game in a way, right? You're, you're essentially creating your own little play style. Uh, which should help you es escape the castle. Could you tell us a little bit more about the, the meta game because that sounds really exciting. So the meta game essentially is essentially the game in the lobby. It's before you enter the core loop. Um, okay. So when you're playing the main game, you have skills. And to, to grab those skills, you have this lobby, which is similar to uh, Animal Crossing in this that you have your own little farm. You have your watermelons, you have your bees, you have your chickens. And for example, two eggs from your chickens and some honey from your beans crafts uh, crafts uh, the, the, shovel, uh, <laughs> the shovel card, right? And the okay. shovel card can be used uh, in such a way that once you're playing the game and you get killed by the hunter, you become a ghost, right? So you're not out of the game, you're down but not out. So you're essentially helping the, your, the other players still in the poltergeist form by you know, possessing chairs, possessing items, and essentially making the life of the hunter much more difficult. But if your friend has the, the shovel card, he can use it to essentially raise you from the dead, right? Because we have these little, you know, uh, tombstones like in Worms, right? Which okay. basically represent where you died. And when a guy comes along to the tombstone, uses the shovel, he'll just dig you out and you'll come back to life. Oh, that sounds really interesting. So, Michal, do you think that we'll have players that will just essentially log in only to do their gardens and, you know, pick up some, some fruits or I, I think <laughs> the, meta, the, the, the lobby game, the meta game uh, is quite relaxing, it's quite pleasurable and we're going to be you know, expanding on it. So I, I think so, yes, I, th I think it's quite a nice touch to the game. Okay, so Michal, in a few short words, if you could just say 
for who sneak out is? Who is the main target, the main audience for sneak out? So essentially everybody, right? Uh, everybody. So it, it's not a kids game. Uh, it's, it's a game that anybody can play. Uh, we have three main cate category audiences. Uh, so the first guys are the guys who played Among Us and similar games like Final Fall Guys, Dead by Daylight. I mean, they're all a little bit different, but at the end of the day, they're multiplayer games, they're, they're fun games, uh, and they're great games to play with your friends. So if anybody has like a community, uh, you know, on Discord or wherever th where they play with their friends, this is a game for them. And if okay. these guys are 12 years old, 15 years old, 30 years old, or 50 years old, it's, it's, it's still going to be the same kind of fun because at the end of the day, the core loop of the game is going back to uh, hide and seek and, and you know, having fun by hiding from, from, uh, from uh, you know, the guy who's, who's seeking you, right? And we've seen this many times on the playtest. We've seen players uh, who essentially sneak around the back of something and they just miss the hunter. And the emotions are amazing. There's, you know, there's laughter, there's crying. It's, it's quite hilarious. So, Michal, uh, can I play with my whole family, with my wife and my kids? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Oh, that, that sounds really cool. So, uh, before we wrap up, uh, I have uh, one more important question that was uh, also often asked on the forums. Um, what are the post-launch plans and how are you planning to support the game after launch? So, Sneak Out is a game as a service, right? It's, it's, a, it's a game that's going to be supported for a long time. Um, just to explain to you how are we looking at this. The first year is going to be split into four seasons, right? Quarterly seasons, three months. So, for example, the first season is going to be June, July, August. This is the summer season. And then we're going to have this, this school season, which is uh, September, October, November, then winter and spring. Now, each season will, will bring us a, a wipe to the stats and to the rankings, right? Because the players have rankings and, you know, and their stats. And this is very important for, for our community. Um, so every season you can start a new, you know, with your new experience, with your new skill, you can try and, and be number one. Number two, every season is going to bring a new map and a new theme, right? So for example, uh, as you can see, the original theme was the castle, right? On, on launch, we, we're doing the China theme. We have, we have this beautiful Chinese map. Uh, again, a map is like a world, and the map is split into different maps, of different levels, but it's, it's like a, a world for a uh, theme for the, for the season. Uh, in the, during this, the school season in September, we're not going to have a school, just, just, just to make it clear. It's going to be like a university, right? Um, a, 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 like a Professor X style, uh, X-Men University, you know, ah, a okay. mansion kind of, kind of place. Where, where you're going to be doing uh, your, your hide and seeking uh, and sneaking out. Um, now, apart from that, each season is going to introduce a new seeker, a new hunter, uh, a new uh, character with new unique skills to hunt the players. Apart from that, the seasons will be split into monthly events and weekly events. The monthly events will have new skins, new items, and weekly events will have uh, their own little uh, scoreboards, their own little short-term events allowing you to take part you know, quickly. The goal of this is to essentially uh, have the player base come and play with us, uh, do their best and come back uh, if, if, you know, in, in the new season for the new content. Because we can see that the players, for, for our community, the most important thing is new content, more content and regular content updates. And this is how we are supporting the game. It's a long-term plan, long-term support and lots of content being created uh, all the way through. Wow, that sounds like a lot of things the players can do and before launch and post launch. That sounds really we amazing. We even have um, plans to create different game modes, right? Uh, oh, and, okay. and, and different game modes within different worlds. So for example, there will be like a golf course kind of world uh, and in the future. Uh, okay. And on, on, you know, it's gonna be different than in the castle because it's gonna change the gameplay significantly. But wow. this, this is the idea, to, 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 to use this core loop and to make it very original each time. Well, Michal, all of what you said today sounds really interesting and really fun. But, for example, if you could use a few like strong bullet points that you could describe the game, what, what would that be? So, first of all, Sneak Out is free to play. That's very important, right? Second of all, of course, it's a multiplayer game. It's a PvP game that you can play with your friends. And not only, of course, you can play it with random players just as much. By the way, I'll just mention, uh, if you come to our Discord, uh, we support creating, you know, playing together, basically. So we have channels dedicated, we, we have mods, we have admins who will help uh, create this community and build this community. And it's the same for Discord, the same for QQ in China. Um, so it's, it's, it's a multiplayer game, it's a free-to-play game. It's a, it's a uh, you could call it a party game. So it's a game that's best played with your friends or with people that, you know, you are on voice chat with because it's hilarious. Um, and, it's, it's, and it's essentially a casual pick-up-and-play game because you can just come along, 
join play for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, two hours, uh, and come back the next day or come back in two hours or come back in five minutes. At any point that you come in, you can have the same kind of fun that you would if you were playing it all the time. That sounds really cool. And one last question, because that will be something probably a lot of people will be interested. Um, we would have controller support. Of course, yes. Uh, oh, so th the that's game happy because I prefer the controller, definitely. The, the, <laughs> the, game, the, ga the game mechanics are, are uh, very uh, controller friendly. Is there anything you'd like to tell to the players, to the community? Yes, I would like to say a big thank you to the over 370,000 players who took part in our playtests. Um, we had three playtests. You took part in all of them. Uh, you know, during the second playtest, we had server issues, which you helped us solve and you know, navigate, figure out, and make sure that it's fine. Um, and the feedback we were provided, you know, we got like 4,300 pieces of feedback uh, from the community. This is what allowed us to, put, to make this game, really. You know? uh, creating a game is, 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 is quite, you know, it's, it's a challenging process. But if you have hundreds of thousands of players who are playing this game and who are giving feedback, it makes the job a lot easier. So in the, na in the name of our de development team, I would like to say a big thank you to the community for taking part in those playtests. So guys, the game is already out and you can play it for free on Steam. So come and join us together and let's play some Sneak Out. <laughs>